वेलकम टू इट्स टुमारो न्यूज आई एम हेना तलाटी वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोन स्टॉम बीपार्जो टू हिट गुजरात इन इंडिया अ वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोन स्टॉम बीपार्जो इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू इंटेंसिफाई फर्दर इन द नेक्स्ट 24 फोर आवर्स एंड विल मूव नॉर्थ नॉर्थ वेस्टवर्ड्स द इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट सेड ऑन सैटरडे This severe cyclonic storm at 23:30 hours Indian Standard Time was over East Central Arabian Sea near the latitude 16 north and longitude 67.4 east. It is very likely to intensify further and move north northwestwards during the next 24 hours and in anticipation of the cyclonic biparjoy high waves have been observed at tithal beach in valsad on the arabian sea coast as a precautionary measures tithal beach has been closed to tourists until june 14th india meteorological department has asked the fishermen not to venture into the sea and they all have come back people will be shifted to the village at the seashore if needed shelters have been made for them the tithal beach has been closed for the tourists till june 14th earlier with the cyclone biparjo forecast to be intensified in the next 36 hours the weather department has also advised fishermen not to venture into the seas off the coast of kerala karnataka and lakshadweep This first cyclone in the Arabian Sea this year Biparjo has been named by the Bangladesh. This name means disaster or calamity in Bengali. Moreover, as Biparjo is headed northwards and remains centered about 900 kilometers south southwest of the Gujarat's coastal Porbandar district, Fishermen have been asked to return to the coast from the deep sea areas and the ports instructed to hoist the distant warning signal. The cyclone would bring light rains and thunderstorms in the coastal areas in the western India and all ports in accordance with the international procedure are advised to hoist the signals whenever adverse weather is expected over them in oceanic areas. The steps six to alert vessels and ensure the safety of the marine time activities. The IMD further predicted that along and off the Saurashtra and Kutch coast, squally wind speed reaching 35 to 45 kilometers per hour and gusting to 55 kilometers per hour is likely to prevail on June 10. and is likely to increase to 40 to 50 kilometers per hour and gusting to 60 kilometers per hour on june 11 45 to 55 kilometers gusting to 65 kilometers per hour during june 12 and 50 to 60 kilometers per hour gusting to 70 kilometers per hour on june 13th and 14th on the monsoon of india the imd said In the coming 24 hours monsoon is expected to progress into more regions of the Central Arabian Sea Tamil Nadu Karnataka and additional areas of the southwest central and northeast bay of Bengal It is also predicted to reach the remaining parts of the Kerala followed by the northeastern states and certain parts of the sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim in the subsequent 2 days The districts in Kerala where the yellow alert is issued from Friday are Thiruvananthapuram, Kollam, Pathanathittam, Alappuzha, Kottayam, Idukki, Kozhikode and Kannur. The weather office in India further inform that till the middle of the next week other than South India and North East will also face heavy rainfall till Wednesday. The sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim will continue to witness isolated heavy rainfall in the parts of Friday which is expected to intensify into very heavy rainfall over the next two days. The national capital New Delhi on Saturday recorded a minimum temperature of 26.7 degrees Celsius one notch below the season's average according to the India Meteorological Department. The weather office has predicted partly cloudy sky and very light rain with strong surface winds during the day. The maximum temperature is likely to settle around 40 degrees Celsius. 
The weather forecast said that some pockets of the Bihar will continue to experience heat wave conditions till Tuesday and similar conditions will follow in Gangetic West Bengal over the same period while Odisha and Jharkhand will continue to reel under the heat wave conditions till Monday. Uttar Pradesh will encounter heat wave conditions till Sunday. Meanwhile, parts of the sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim and Andhra Pradesh may see the similar weather conditions prevailing till Saturday. Now, let's have a glance at the minimum and maximum temperatures of the major Indian states. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.